with this being the 41st anniversary of this horrible crime taking place, I would at this point in time like to reveal the fact that our victim has been identified. More than four decades. The Walker County Jane Doe, tonight we know who she is. On November 1st, 1980, Sherry Ann Jarvis was found dead on the side of I-45. She'd been strangled to death and there were even signs of a brutal sexual assault. Tonight, 25 News reporter Austin Walker is breaking down the new developments in this case. At the Oakwood Cemetery, Sherry and Jarvis's grave has said unknown white female. 41 years not knowing who they laid to rest. 41 years until today. To some, the case of the Walker County Jane Doe seemed impossible to crack. There was no leads or media reports uh, on the case. This is a victim, so not someone that would have been tracked as a criminal or someone that had done something in the past. This is an extraordinary case that the sheriff said. This case was incredibly complex. With limited information, officials and agencies could only follow what they knew. On October the 31st of 1980, a white female believed to be between the ages of 15 and 20 arrived in Huntsville, Texas. She was alone, but seen by several civilians. Last seen at the Hitchin Post by people trying to get to the Ellis Prison Farm. But the next morning at 920, deputies responded to a call of a dead female on the side of I-45. The cause of death was later determined to be uh, due to asphyxia, uh, due to strangulation by ligature per the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. In addition, signs of sexual assault were on the victim and following the body, an investigation was underway. With no new leads of who she was or where she came from, leads dried up and the case went cold. But as years passed, technology advanced, leading us to November 9th, 2021. I would at this point in time like to reveal the fact that our victim has been identified. 14 year old Sherry Ann Jarvis from Stillwater, Minnesota. In March of 2021, Ortham Labs provided the lead detective with six people that could be relatives of the Jane Doe. We can take evidence that is very old, DNA that's uh, been previously unsuitable or unusable uh, in other methods and traditional testing. Um, you know, processes, and we can, we can pull genetic information, uh, markers and such, from this evidence and, and use that, as, as you've heard from the sheriff, to build out uh, long-distance relationships. And in the case of someone like, uh, uh, like Sherry, for which there was really no evidence at the scene and no good clues, and she was so far away from home, and no one here locally in Huntsville would have known who she was. Scientists say because of the new way of gathering genetic information attributed by the Sherry and Jarvis case, Names of other cold cases are coming to the surface. It's an extraordinary uh, opportunity anytime we can help name somebody, but I hope in the next few years it goes from extraordinary to ordinary. Today, flowers line the gravesite of what was once unknown white female. Knowing today, she has a name, Sherry Ann Jarvis, a name this town will never forget and a name that can finally be laid to rest. In Huntsville, Austin Walker, 25 News. Austin, thank you. Right now, there are even new leads on a possible suspect, but authorities aren't saying anything beyond that.